Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another meal prep video. We are meal prepping today. I plan on doing, this is my initial plan. We'll see what happens. Um, I'm gonna make some homemade pico de gallo. Never made it before, so curious how it turns out. I'm gonna do some mini quesadillas, which will be good for lunches or for dinners. I'm gonna do a breakfast scramble for breakfast. And then I'm gonna grill up some chicken that I can use for a couple different bowls for dinners and for lunches throughout the week. And I'm gonna make some Spanish cauliflower rice. I was gonna do, I think I talked about this in my grocery haul, so since you're not gonna see it in this video, I'm gonna let you know now. I was gonna do an Asian ground turkey and green beans, but since I am working from home all week this week, since our building is closed down, um, I can make this, I would rather have it fresh because the green beans and stuff, I want it to be kind of crispy. So I will be making that for dinner one day this week. So you will see that in one of my what I eat in the day, or if I end up, I think I'm going to do a what I eat in the week video, not sure, but you'll see it in one of those videos and I'll make sure I put it in the title that way you can see it. So that is the meal prep plan and I will have all the recipes as usual linked down below. So let's go ahead and start with the pico de gallo. I'm gonna try to make all of this in my little chopper here. We'll see what happens. I have a smaller one that I plan on using for the jalapenos. Uh, so what you need for this, you need some tomatoes. I thought I'd get these really big beefsteak ones because they're really solid and I think I can put them on my in my little chopper. So you need some tomatoes, a half of an onion, um, one to two jalapenos depending on how spicy you want. These are rather large, so I think I'm just gonna use one, save the other one for something else some cilantro, use whatever your heart desires. I like cilantro, so I'm gonna put quite a bit in there. And then two tablespoons of lime juice, and then of course some salt and pepper. I'm gonna go ahead and wash my cilantro and my tomatoes and my pepper, and then we'll start chopping. I always have a little bowl over here off to the side that I put my scraps in, that way I'm not running back and forth to the garbage. It really helps out a lot. So take these out. I'm not even gonna bother seeding this because I do like spicy stuff, but if you don't like spicy stuff, then definitely seed your jalapenos. Or de-seed them, I guess, is the proper terminology. <laughs> Got my veggies all ready to go. This thing is really loud, so I'm not going to, um, I'll do it one time, but it's really loud, so I don't want it to be too loud on video. So I'm gonna go ahead and just chop everything and we'll just see how it how it works. I've never done tomatoes in this. Oh, definitely it turned out pretty good and it wasn't loud for some reason. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the tomatoes and we'll move on. I think I have plenty of tomato. I probably could have been okay with just using one of those big tomatoes. I'm gonna save these other two for um, just salads and stuff throughout the week. Okay, let's go ahead and do the onion. See, it can be very loud. I don't know if my onion to tomato ratio is very good. Now for the jalapenos, I'm gonna use this small one, which I normally don't use because I hate cleaning it, but I think for the jalapeno, it would be really good to use the small one. I would use the other half of my onion and put more in there, but I need this for another recipe and it's the only white onion I have. Otherwise, I just have some red onions and I don't know, actually, I'm gonna put some red onion in with this. All these red onions are purple onions. I call them both sometimes. Okay, I think that's perfect. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and put this small one in here and see how this works with jalapenos. Oh, perfect. I hate cutting jalapenos because I always, it never fails, I put my fingers up to my eyes or it's really hard to get the um, spiciness of tomatoes. When I worked in a Mexican restaurant, they actually told you to use like lime juice on your fingers to get the jalapenos off of there. Okay, let's stir this up. And what's nice about this little thing is you actually can just store stuff in there. I got this off of Amazon like, I mean, years and years and years ago. So I don't even think they have the same one on there. I've looked before, but I can find one similar and link it down there. Okay, 
Okay, I'm gonna transfer this to a bowl that I'll plan on storing it in, and then we'll add in the rest of the ingredients. And we're gonna add in two tablespoons of lime juice. We're gonna add in our cilantro and our salt and pepper. Told you I like cilantro. And there you go. So you want to taste it to make sure you have enough salt and pepper. Mine came out perfect. Um, it tastes so fresh. Um, so much better than the store-bought pico de gallo, which is funny because like, you know, you see it and it looks pretty fresh because it's in the fresh section, but this tastes really good and it was so easy. So definitely I think I'll start making my own when I have time. The next thing we're gonna make is gonna be some mini chicken quesadillas. So we need some shredded chicken. Um, I will link the original recipe down below. The original recipe says to use one and a half cups. I'm not really sure what this is because I just I forgot to take out enough chicken um, to do my own shredded chicken. So this is just a can, one of the big cans from Costco. So my plan is just to see how many of them I get out of this and then we'll figure out everything. So um, like I said, the original recipe said one and a half cups, but we're going with this. And then you're gonna need some cheese. Um, I'm just gonna do a cup of cheese and then some sort of salsa. Um, you need some cilantro if you like it, if not, leave it out. And then you'll need some sort of street tacos. I'm gonna use these Mission Zero Net Carbs. Never had these, just found them at the grocery store yesterday. So we'll see how these are. And then you'll need some fat-free refried beans. The original recipe does not say fat-free, but you know, these are zero on Weight Watchers. So, and as far as these tortillas, for two of them, it is, is this two of them? No, for it's one point per tortilla. You go up to two, you get two points. You go to three, you get three points, but then you go up to four and it's still three points. So you can figure out the Weight Watcher math on that one. Okay, so the only thing we're gonna have to count on this is gonna be your cheese, which this is three points for a quarter cup. I am figuring up to be an eighth of a cup per, per tortilla is what I'm figuring up. And I'm thinking probably three of these will be what I end up eating because they're so small. And then I'll just pair that with like a sal salad or something like that. So let's go ahead and get these meal prep. The first thing we need to do is put the cheese, the salsa, and the cilantro all in the bowl. The, tort the refried beans is gonna go on the tortillas when we get this part all done. I'm just gonna do a third cup of the salsa. And I did a cup of the cheese, and then I'm putting a lot of cilantro. Like I said, I like the cilantro, so that's what I'm using. And we're just gonna mix all this up. That's why I love to have this canned chicken around. I know some people don't like canned chicken, but honestly, I don't see anything wrong with it. I think it tastes good, and I love it as a quick, you know, in a pinch type thing. But I'm gonna go ahead and add in some salt and pepper to this because that chicken is very bland. Um, so, and the salsa is not very um, flavorful on its own. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in some salt and pepper to this. Okay, now that this part's done, we're gonna go ahead and assemble the quesadillas. Now it just says to take your tortilla, spread some of the refried beans on there. Since these are zero points, I'm not gonna worry about measuring them too much. I just don't wanna put overfill them because I tend to do that with all taco quesadilla type things. I tend to overfill. Um, Cause it's just, I don't know, sometimes it's just hard to tell. So it says to put on half of there and then add on some chicken mixture as well. And then you just fold it over and kind of seal it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of these. I'm somewhere in the middle Try to find myself again But life is one big riddle all the 
Now I have probably a third of this left over. So um, when I track it, I'm gonna say this would make another maybe six tortillas because I was using about this much per one. So when I track it, I'm gonna say that this made 14. The original recipe said 16, so I actually probably could get another eight out of this, but just for tracking purposes to make sure that I am tracking the cheese correctly, when I put it in my tracker, I'm gonna say that this made six, um, what did I say? 14, that it made 14 of these. So here, I only made eight though, because I don't, I'm not gonna eat them all, so I can save this part I'm gonna do, um, I could save this for a salad, something like that, you know, a bowl, anything like that. So I am gonna save this. I just, as far as the quesadillas, um, if I do three or four for a serving, like maybe for dinner, I may do four of them um, because they are little, as you can see. So for dinner, I may do four. For lunch, I'd probably only do three. So I just didn't wanna over, overdo it because like I said, I know I can eat this really easily with a salad or a bowl. So let's go ahead and take these to the skillet and we're gonna heat these up. But look how beautiful these turned out. And they're just so cute and tiny, you guys. They are, I just, I love them. So I'm gonna use a cooking spray instead of oil. The original recipe says to use oil. But we're gonna use some cooking spray. I'm gonna heat up my pan and then we're just gonna simply just make it like a quesadilla. We're just going to heat both sides until it's crispy. I'm to do more than one in the pan, but I have a feeling that because I'm, I'm kind of clumsy when it comes to things like this, I have a feeling I'm going to want to do maybe just one, but we'll try to just to see how they turn out. And I will never know why you let me go. Look to the left, look to the right, nothing can stop me in the night like I am leaving all the bad stuff. And trying to here they are you guys these are like the cutest things i swear um i guess they turned out very good so let me get off all the things that i plan on serving these with to kind of give you some ideas of how i'm going to serve these up so of course we have our fresh pico de gallo we can serve it with that we have some guacamole and then i like to use um plain non-fat greek yogurt in place of sour cream so that's how i'll serve it up i may mix some of this like with some salsa or something and that'll be how I serve up my quesadillas. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna make is gonna be our breakfast scramble. Originally, I was gonna do a different type of breakfast scramble and I was gonna make my taco meat, I mean my turkey meat, <laughs> taste like sausage, which I've done before. I decided since I'm having taco salads for dinner later in the week, I'm just gonna do two breakfast scrambles. Since I am working from home every day this week, I am, um, I have more time in the mornings to make breakfast, so I'm gonna have some more options for breakfast. So I'm just gonna do two breakfast scrambles with half the meat. The other half, I'm gonna do, do taco salads. So I decided to do like a taco scramble. So I did find a recipe on Clean Food Crush. I think that's what it's called. Love those recipes on that um, recipe blog. I will link it down below. So I'm pretty much doing exactly how um, she has it in the recipe. So in our, our meat itself, we're gonna have ground turkey, taco seasoning we're going to add in about half of these black beans because the black beans are zero points we're going to add in about half of that and then we're going to have our veggies here so i just had some mini peppers i wanted to use up so i have some yellow and red ones and then some onion i believe her recipe has green peppers but um, this will be fine and then in the eggs i believe we're going to we have eggs so i'm going to do six eggs so three eggs per scramble we have cilantro some shredded cheese and then on top, I'll be adding on the tomatoes. So let's go ahead and throw all this together. I did add some cooking spray to this. We're gonna use our favorite seasoning, the Kinder's The Blend. So before we add the meat in, we're gonna saute these up just a little bit, just to get them a little bit softened before we add the meat to it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and cook these up and then we'll go to the next step. Okay, now we're gonna add in our ground turkey. And then about half of our black beans. So 
I read the recipe again. The cilantro goes on top as a garnish with the cherry tomatoes. But in the eggs, we're gonna do the eggs. I have two servings of cheese, so this is a half a cup of cheese, and we're gonna add salt and pepper. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these whisked up so they can go on as soon as the meat is done. I'm also gonna add in, actually I think I'm gonna add in the blend instead of adding the salt and pepper because I really like this. We're gonna go ahead and add in the taco seasoning. Um, this isn't quite done yet, but I want the taco seasoning to kind of blend in with the meat. Let that cook a little bit longer, and then we'll do our eggs. I weighed my meat, that way I could accurately divide that in half, or actually in quarters, so I know how much each serving should be. Alrighty, time to cook the eggs. We're just gonna scramble these up. I like to undercook mine just a little bit when I'm using them for meal prep. That way when I heat them up in the microwave, they don't get overcooked. That's just my personal preference, but cook them to however your desired is. Okay, let's start with the meat. So I need, it was 164.25, so we'll just go with 164. Okay, close enough. Let's add the eggs in. We'll garnish it with some tomatoes and some cilantro. Let's do the other one, then I'll show you the finished product. And here we go. Here are our breakfast scrambles. I'll do a roundup here at the end where I'll have points and all that for each of the meals, but let's go ahead and move on to our last thing we're gonna do, which is gonna be some chicken. Chicken breasts here that I cut very thinly. I like to have really thin chicken breasts for my bowls. So I plan on doing some Greek bowls this week and also just some chicken burrito bowls. So I'm just gonna, since I'm doing them two different bowls, I'm just gonna season them with just some of this buttery poultry blend. And then whatever I end up having them in, I'll have other flavors and other seasoning when I heat up the chicken. So we're gonna put this in the air fryer. Put these in at 400 for about 10 minutes on one side. I'll flip them over and cook them for another two or three minutes, probably at the most. I'm just gonna keep checking on it. And then while that's cooking, we're gonna clean up this big old mess over here. I tried to clean up as I went along, but you know, there's always, always some cleanup. So I should have exact enough time to get all this cleaned up while my chicken's cooking. Here is our finished meal prep. So with the chicken, I'm leaving it whole and I'll just dice it up whenever I have it in my meal. That way it kind of keeps the juices in there and I'll even heat it up whole and then I'll dice it up and put it in my, my bowls that I plan on having. And you guys will see that in my weekly what I eat in the day video. So let's break down the points. I have not figured them all up yet, so I'll put them here on the screen. So we have our mini chicken quesadillas. Now we know our pico de gallo is zero points and it looks so beautiful. Here's that leftover turkey meat um, that I'll be using for taco bowls later in the week. Then we have a little bit of that chicken quesadilla mixture left over. Our grilled chicken, which of course we know is zero. And then we have our beautiful breakfast bowls. And my kitchen is all clean and I am so ready for the week. So as you noticed, I did not do the Spanish cauliflower rice. And the reason being is I just felt like I had enough stuff to get me through the week. And I, since I'm only having um, the, probably the chicken burrito bowls or the taco bowls, maybe once this week, maybe twice, I would not eat the entire thing of Spanish cauliflower rice. So what I'm gonna do is just have lettuce and just kind of bulk it up with lettuce. And I have some black beans and pinto beans. And I can kind of bulk it up 
with that. So this week I just decided not to do it. If it's something where I may be consuming it more than two meals throughout the week, like when I make my low carb taco casserole, like that kind of thing, I do eat that like maybe four times during the week. So if it was a situation like that, I didn't have other meals that I was prepping for, then I would make it. I just don't want to waste any food. So there you go, guys. I will have everything linked down below as usual. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today while I'm meal prepping. And let me know in the comments, what are you meal prepping this week? And what kind of meals are you having for the week? And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Thank you.